Hi everyone, this is Devin Coombs, and today I will be covering the intermediate accounting subject, treasury stock. So let's get into it. I wrote this fun little question. In 2015, Debon Corporation had issued 140 million shares of its $1 par common stock at $17 per share. On January 15, 2015, Debon Corporation reacquired 20 million shares at $20 per share. On March 7, 2015, Devon Corporation sold 2 million Treasury shares at $21 per share. And on December 8, 2015, Devon Corporation sold 2 million Treasury shares at $18 per share. What are the appropriate journal entries? So going to this question, uh, I want you to notice that I said reacquired here. Because I said reacquired, we aren't retiring the shares, which means we are going to be using tr Treasury stock accounting. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. I also want you to notice that we did one part of the question over the $20 per share and one under. So you can see the different ways we account for treasury stock because it, it does affect it if we're selling at less than what we repurchased it for or at more than, and it's not treated like a gain. So that's very important. So let's go into the question. We're gonna start on this bullet point. So on January 15th, 2015, Devon Corporation reacquired 20 million shares at $20 per share. So we always do that at cost. Treasury stock is always at cost initially. So we just do the easy calculation of $20 times the 20 million. So we get our 400 million. So that's our debit to treasury stock because that's going to reduce our stock balance. And then we have our credit to cash because we're paying for that. So this is the easiest journal entry out of all the questions. Uh, let's move to the second one. So on March 7th, 2015, Devon Corporation sold 2 million treasury shares at $21 per share. So as you can see here, uh, we first debit cash, and that should be relatively easy because we know that 2 million times 21 is 42, and we know we're receiving cash. So that's the easy, easiest part. But when we do receive cash over what we orig originally paid for the treasury stock, we only credit out uh, the treasury stock to the amount we originally paid for it. So that's why we have only 40 million here. Uh, that might confuse some people, but the treasury stock balance would only be 40 million at that time. So we can only reduce it to this amount. And the remainder we put in paid in capital share repurchase. So it increases our equity. And that makes sense because we received more money for our shares that we originally repurchased. So we're increasing our equity by 2 million. And lastly, uh, I want you to remember this paid in capital because we're going to need it when we have um, losses in the next question. So on our last part of this question, on December 8th, 2015, Devon Corporation sold 2 million treasury shares at $18 per share. So this is less than we originally repurchased the treasury shares for. So we're going to debit cash, always, the easiest one, 2 million times the 18, so we get our 36 million. Uh, and then we're going to always credit our treasury stock for the difference, uh, for our original cost. So our original cost was 40 million, if you remember back. It was about $20 per share. Uh, it was $20 per share. So 20 times the 2 million of shares, we have our 40 million of treasury stock. Now we just have 4 million remaining, which is the most important part and where you can get tripped up. Because we're only going to debit paid in capital to the extent that we have a paid in capital share repurchase account. So from our prior journal entry, we had the 2 million paid in capital share repurchase, and that's the maximum extent that we can take uh, debit for this. The rest reduces retained earnings because we've actually lost money, which will reduce our shareholders' equity, which makes sense. We lost money on the transaction. Uh, so I hope this makes sense. If you want more videos regarding any matters, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. Just comment below or uh, write on my Twitter or my Facebook or my LinkedIn. And uh, please subscribe if you'd like more uh, videos regarding this subject and have a wonderful day.